Greetings, everyone. Looney Farm Guy here with an update for Monday, August the 1st. And this is uh, the John Deere 1590 and Tandem. So there's been a number of changes uh, with this mod. Originally, it was only uh, the uh, no-till cedar that um, was it. And so... The modder, Casarius Modding, 29.51 megabytes to download, uh, 13 slots for the original Cedar, and I don't know how this works out, but it's only two slots for the Tandem Cedar, so I'm not, I don't know how that is possible. However, that's what it is. Now, uh, this is, uh, yes, so 13 and 2. <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the the name of the mod has changed also from a no-till John Deere 1590 no-till to John Deere 1590 and Tandem, and thus uh, they added the Tandem version, which has some very interesting um, hmm, operational quirks and a couple of things that... Um, I'm going to say are broken. Yes, I will say it. Uh, broken. I, although, however, it's not the worker that's broken. The worker actually works flawlessly. It's the the manual use of the tandem that is the problem. And I will show you exactly what the problem is in a moment. First, though, where do we find it? We'll find it under Cedars. And uh, there it is. <clears throat> so uh, the John Deere 1590 no-till drill. So that's what the original mod was called, but now it's called the John Deere 1590 and tandem mod, uh, the original drill here. You could have ridge markers, yes or no. I don't know anybody who uses those. Capacity, we have the standard uh, seed only or the added fertilizer tank. Uh, we've retested that mod to see if anything has changed. I don't think anything has changed. Uh, and now we have the tandem model, which comes as like this. Standard or solid fertilizer additional. So it either goes uh, 4,052, so that would be 2,026 liters each or uh, the added uh, thousand rough well not quite a thousand nine hundred something liters of fertilizer for an extra thousand bucks so eighty four thousand dollars and this will be four point five that's four point five meters each yeah so nine meters all together and a width so that's not too bad for a no-till which it's 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 direct drill anyways <clears throat> not a lot of options however let's uh oh yes horsepower uh 85 definitely want to be around that 85 or better and this one is listed at 140 horsepower for the tandem i would um definitely go with at least 200 horsepower to pull these um yeah just in my testing now let's hook up uh let's hook this one up here because it has a very uh, interesting unfold so as we get in here uh here it is let's get our help window on there we go now uh l1 r1 and we're going to go through all this stuff l1 uh so disregard uh, most of this is the um uh, precision farming so we see top left we have the front cedar and the back cedar and then the tractor itself so do we yes it has fold unfold fold cedar what does that do oh, I don't think it does anything unfold the cedar here and this is what it does so as you can see, it's really kind of neat. It kind of shifts everything around and it becomes this. Now, it 
Still not sure what the fold unfold option on the back seater does. Huh. Um, so, <laughs> all right. Um, to uh, open, it's a basically L1 and left to open the, the seed tank and then I get once more and it opens the fertilizer. Oh, I didn't have fertilizer and seed. I didn't have fertilizer. Let's uh <laughs> let's hop over here. Okay, here we go. Now, we have them. Let's raise Oh, I see. Yeah, so here's the problem. Um so because they're in tandem and they're kind of back to front, let's see, uh, let's fold that and see if that... No. Okay, so <laughs> I've been fooling with this for a while because it's weird. Now, okay, so highlighting the cedar and left on the D-pad opens and closes the the tanks right very pretty basic stuff now we're on the the which is the back one which is actually the left one and closing and opening seed tanks right so pretty standard there sorry i'm kind of babbling on a little bit because this next part is confusing to me if you want to use this manually you are typically going to you know lower the cedar and then turn it on However, if I turn it on, if I highlight the back cedar and try to, uh, it says turn off, but turn off cedar, turn off cedar, turn off cedar. So it says it's, I can't turn it on. It says it's, oh, now it's on. It's a little confusing. Maybe because it was folded? Oh, I think that's what it was. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so this is really confusing. Um, you have to fold the back cedar <laughs> to be able to manually turn it on. It's very confusing uh, as I, I'm trying to explain it because before you could turn on. See, they're not both lit up, but they're both seeding now. <sighs> um, and then you lift up. That's just the back one. If you lift up the front one, they both lift up. It's it's kind of a very strange. Oh yes, and there's one other. Um, there's one. Uh, oh, see, he's still on, and it's lifted. Is it lifted? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> uh, there now. It's lifted off. Um. Oh dear. It's. It's a bit of a confusion thing. Uh, oh, lights. Oh, lights and signals. Brake. Little tiny brake lights. Uh, I didn't even notice that. Okay. Um, oh, dear. Um, yeah, so pardon me. See, this is, this is where I'm getting at. It's like one side was seating, and so... And you, oh, then you lower it, and so, oh, yeah. Uh, hiring a worker, um, not so much of a problem. He just turns, he knows what to do. He turns everything on and everything goes. So there is a bit of an issue with the, uh, the, the worker turning around at the end. Um, not not terrible uh, as in he misses a little spot like so 
but the turnaround um, procedure is painful to watch. And, of course, I'm going to make you watch it. Well, I can't make you watch it. I mean, you could fast forward to it through it, uh, or you can just stop the video now, I guess, if you want. But it is quite entertaining because um, he does this. As, you're wa as I'm talking and you're watching, um, he does this little backup thing. And uh, the first time I seen this, I thought he was going to just take off down the field because... He just keeps going and going and going and going and finally he stops and then he's like backs up crooked and then it seems like he's trying to straighten out but doesn't get it right and he ends up over here and then he decides like to heck with it I'm just gonna go and so he goes and uh, eventually gets it straightened out but he misses he misses a little spot so um if you're gonna get the worker to use this i would suggest not watching him because he's just gonna pull your hair out for sure as for the manual operation of the uh, the lowering and the turning on and all that it's i'm i'm at a bit of a loss as how to um, really describe how that works. Um, it's just a little bit of kind of trial, trial and error almost it seems, and it's a little bit uh, a little bit unwieldy. And what's going on here? Is it it's stuck or something? <laughs> Um, so I think it needs a little bit of work. I don't know. I can't. S I don't know. I don't know why. Um, yeah, it's it's being a little bit of a. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Let's fold that back up. The foot. Oh. It was kind of bound up on itself or something. Yeah. Um. A very cool, neat idea. Oh, one other thing I thought was interesting is you can detach the... Uh, you can detach the other cedar um, like so, off the back. Um, so I'm not sure... Yeah, not sure if that can be used for something. There's no hitch on the back of this one. Anyways, um, curious, a very curious, interesting update. I'm sorry if um, if I've been kind of confusing because I'm a little bit um, befuddled about how... Um, yeah, if you have the worker do it, he kind of knows what he's doing, but trying to do it manually is a little bit of a minefield. Trying to figure out get it to getting it to work uh, properly. So at least uh, there you have it, and you kind of know what to expect at least, or what kind of problems you might be able might might be encountering with um, with this. But uh, anyways, there you have it. That's the John Deere 1590 and Tandem by Casarius modding 29.51 megabytes to download. Uh, 13 slots for the original Cedar and only two slots for the Tandem Cedar um, pack. Yeah, Cedar. Uh, I'm Lily Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.